I was nervous to tell my parents about becoming Muslim. I remember uh, I told my mom uh, on she was driving me somewhere. So I said I consider myself a Muslim. She said what? Well, what do you mean? You're not Muslim. You're you're Jewish and Christian. Ashhadu anna Muhammad Peter Casey was only 15 years old when he formally converted to Islam. It had been two years in the making. When 9-11 happened, it made people, myself included, take a step back and say, well, what's going on here? What's this religion about? Peter went online to find some answers. And the first link that came up was for a particular website that had some keywords under it. Islam, Muslim, Allah, Muhammad, Jesus, salvation. I was like, wait a minute, wait, Jesus? What's that about? Raised in a Long Island suburb by a Jewish mom and a Catholic dad, Peter was conflicted about Jesus. Was he the son of God or a false messiah? In Islam, Jesus was neither, only a prophet. And this drew Peter's precocious intellect to the faith. Allah Akbar Allah. This is the Islamic Center at NYU. So we're actually in the basement of a church right now, um, which is pretty cool, I think. 28-year-old Imam Khalid Latif leads this one-of-a-kind community. Our community is probably 30-35% um, convert. And in a given week, we see anywhere from one to five people who are formally converting to Islam. In the country at large, there are no statistics on people like Peter. But surveys show that the number of Muslims in America is set to double in less than 20 years matching the size of the Jewish population. Allah You were 2001, right? I became Muslim in 2002. 2002? 2003, yeah. Suleiman Ferguson was raised a Christian. He has met some resistance since becoming Muslim. You know, one of the problems is people keep assuming Muslims are the other. Yeah. And um, maybe it's happened to you, but people have said to me, go back to where you came from. <laughs> I'm from Long Island. Yeah, right. What do I do? <laughs> I invite you to be a Muslim, as this is what I am. To educate people about his religion, Peter started an activist blog called Dawa Addict. Dawa means invitation, and for Peter, it is both a religious duty and a calling. Today, Peter is in Washington Square Park to record a video for his YouTube channel. I want to see you in front of the camera giving your three minute super duper invitation to Islam. That's why I've created the Islam in Three Minutes or Less Challenge. With over 5,000 subscribers and under half a million views, Dawah Addict has gained some visibility. See, these days everybody wants Burger King religion. Burger King religion? You know, have it your way. It's all about some people buy his t-shirts and artwork. Others have even converted after watching his videos. MashaAllah, if you just took your shahada, you are now an official Muslim. Peter's boyish looks and suburban upbringing can be assets when reaching out to non-Muslims. I hope that I can use it to my advantage and the way that I try to use it is to dispel stereotypes by putting myself out there as a Muslim guy named Peter with white skin and blue eyes and uh, by seeing me they need to reconsider their perception of what a Muslim looks like. Peter remains realistic about his ability to change mindsets a decade after 9-11 and in a context of renewed angst about Islam in America. But all the talking in the world and all the videos and whatever it may be, nothing, none of that is going to compare to you know, a person's character. And you know, a Muslim is supposed to be a person with good manners and good character, who's kind and thoughtful and all these things. If, that, if a person meets somebody like that and gets to know a person like that, that's more powerful than any words could ever be.